Konnichiwa. Unfortunately, I cannot be in person at the groundbreaking ceremony in Japan, but this is why I sent this message uh, to all of you, to all of my colleagues, to all people present. I think particle physics at the moment is in an exciting era. We are expecting groundbreaking new results at the energy frontier, the energy frontier with the LHC. That's what we are doing here at CERN. But there's another frontier, the intensity frontier, and this is what you are doing in Japan at KEK. And this is what you are doing, or what you will be doing at uh, Super KEK B. It's a challenging project, but it's a fantastic project. It's a very nice project which complements the research done at KEK and done at CERN. And I think it will also strengthen the collaboration which already exists between our two laboratories in a very good way. So I'm very much looking forward to the Super KEK B coming into existence in a few years. Now, I think it's also the right moment now to do this uh, groundbreaking ceremony, despite the fact that you had quite some natural problems to, to overcome, or you are still overcoming them from the uh, earthquake to the tsunami. But I think it is the strength of Japan to show that even in times where you have to overcome natural disasters, that you are still thinking ahead in, for the future, that you are thinking on basic science, because without basic science, you cannot overcome in future such disasters. So I think it's a very good moment to do that because basic science is part of our culture, is part of our society, and therefore I very much welcome this strong signal from the Japanese people, from the Japanese politics, to do that groundbreaking ceremony now. I think it will be beneficial to all of us. So at the end, I just want to wish Super Kek B all the best, or to say it in other words, Super Kek B no Saiko Inorimas.